Hello there, CryoDog here. Uh, going to show you today how to make a custom thumbnail using iMovie. And I'm going to use iMovie uh, version 9.0.9 um, just because version 10 doesn't allow, uh, or cu currently doesn't allow uh, me to uh, change fonts on the title screens. So let's get into iMovie. Just waiting for it to load here. Okay, so this is a current um, custom thumbnail I just created for a previous video. So let me get rid of this. Delete selection. Okay, so now all I've got is a background and then a title. Um, so what you can do, you can use any background. Um, let me just add a second background and um, we can play around with it. So let's just use this one. <clears throat> and then you can choose whichever background uh, you want to. There's not a, a whole lot of options here, but um, something to play around with uh, to get you started off anyway. So let's uh, let's try this one. Okay, so now we have the title um, text here that we can change. So normally I would use what I have in this one as far as the title screen where you can have as much text as you want and it's usually centered um, or in the middle of the background. And you can change <coughs> the options here by using the font size um, panel and then you can also use the uh, well, let me get it back over here so you can use the uh, if you want it centered if you want it aligned left or right or justified you know however you want it uh, I'm just going to go with centered and this is a previous uh, uh, thumbnail I created before so let's change actually let's choose a different uh, let's try that and then if you want it bold or italics um, these options here not all options are available for um, each font so let's do that and we will change the text to read custom thumbnail okay so now that we have it in there click done and let's just get rid of this um, we'll just use the previous one as an example and delete entire clip okay so now what you want to do is you want to right click and choose play in full screen and when that comes up I usually just hit the space bar to pause the playback and then I'm going to uh, on the keyboard I'm going to press 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 shift uh, command and then the number three and you'll hear a camera sound so then we hit escape and now we can minimize iMovie and we go to the desktop where the screenshots are saved by default and I think it's this one we'll just open that screenshot up yeah so this is the thumbnail um, and when you upload this to YouTube it'll be a lot smaller but just a quick way um, if you wanted to create a custom thumbnail and you didn't want to go into um, Photoshop or Acorn, which is what I use. It's a it's a good uh, graphics program or um, whatever graphics program you normally use. Uh, you could just do it through iMovie. If you've already created a title screen for your video, you can use that as well. Just bring it up in uh, full screen playback, and then pause it or stop the playback, and then do Shift Command and then the number three at the same time and it will place the screenshot of the screen on your desktop and then you can just go into youtube 
uh, on your video manager for the video you're uploading and you uh, upload the custom thumbnail and there you have it a custom thumbnail in about uh, I would say about 10 seconds and uh, you're good to go so that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, share my videos with others